we strongly condemn uh, violence against demonstrators. All individuals in Burma uh, have rights to freedom of expression, association, peaceful assembly, uh, including for the purposes of peaceful protest. We repeat our calls for the military to relinquish power, restore democratically elected government, release those detained, and lift all telecommunication restrictions uh, and to refrain uh, from violence. Now you mentioned yesterday um, standing with the people of Burma. Um, could you explain what, if anything, the U.S. can do? We are continuing uh, to make this a priority. We are uh, uh, making no bones about where we stand um, when it comes to the military's uh, need to relinquish power. Uh, as you've also heard us say, um, we are undertaking a careful review of um, uh, the uh, assistance that we provide to Burma um, and uh, with an eye towards um, ensuring um, that those responsible for this coup do face uh, significant consequences. Yes. Um, is it still um, I guess related to that, you've been talking about your, your talking to allies. There are countries uh, in the region that do have uh, uh, an ability, uh, closer um, relationships with uh, some of those um, behind uh, these actions. I wouldn't want to speak uh, for them, but um, I can tell you the international community is attempting every avenue um, uh, to ensure that democracy uh, and civilian leadership uh, is restored uh, in Burma. It's precisely why it has continued to be a refrain um, in the readouts you've seen uh, from this building, uh, from the White House, and why I expect uh, you will hear uh, more about uh, our policy course of action um, uh, in the coming days. Uh, are you satisfied? Are you pleased with the transparency that the Chinese have given uh, to the WHO team? Well, I think the jury's still out. Um, I think clearly uh, the Chinese, uh, at least heretofore, um, had not offered the requisite transparency uh, that we need, um, and that just as importantly, again, the international community needs, uh, uh, so that we can prevent these sorts of pandemics from uh, ever happening again. What um, Congress has been providing over the past few years. We are going to base our conclusions on nothing other than the data, nothing other than the science, um, and based on that, we'll come to a conclusion. Was damaged by not having the U.S. in the room. Well, we're uh, closely monitoring um, the situation. Uh, we note uh, the ongoing talks uh, between the governments of India and China, and we continue to support direct dialogue. Uh, and a peaceful resolution of uh, those border disputes. Uh, we are concerned by Beijing's pattern of ongoing attempts to intimidate uh, its neighbors. Um, as always, we'll stand with friends, we'll stand with partners, we'll stand with allies uh, to advance our shared prosperity, security, uh, and values uh, in, in this case, the Indo-Pacific. First cases were in December 2019, and there have been cases elsewhere in